My family, today, the Daily Mail came up with an absurd story, more like a lie, claiming that Prince Harry wants to come back to the UK and that he has contacted friends, sources to help him come back to the UK. My family, all that stuff is just a bunch of lies. And I told you that one of the reasons as to why this is being done, as to why this story has been written, is because UK media want to reclaim the narrative after Prince Harry fooled them completely when he went to attend the funeral of his late uncle, Robert Fellows. And my family also, one other reason as to why this story came out is because my family, UK Media, are desperate, desperate for Prince Harry to somehow, you know, invite them in, into his life. They want to find a way to force themselves on Harry and Meghan, to force themselves onto Prince Harry's life. My family, clearly, the couple who are interesting, are Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan have done a successful visit to Nigeria, Colombia. And my family, all this is done. And UK media are not invited. None of them have been invited to cover Harry and Meghan's visit. And they're bitter about that. And today, we are going to talk about carnival of so-called expert Chris Ship. And for those who don't know Chris Ship, he is someone who more than four years ago made a vow, made a promise that on the last day of Harry and Meghan's engagement in the royal family, he said that Harry and Meghan's names will not come up under his brief ever again, meaning he will not talk about Harry Meghan ever again. That's after Harry Meghan stepped back as senior members of the royal family. Here's what uh, Chris Ship is still doing right now. My family, kindly please hear this uh, yourself. Welcome with the vice president and then going off to various um, uh, areas where they have particular uh, interest. It was not open. I mean, for everything that Harry and Meghan said about freedom of the press, I didn't think it was open in a way like the, the, the images that we were being given had all been sanitized, if you like, by the, the Sussexes beforehand. So therefore, I think <laughs> access to the tour was quite restricted. There was a pool reporter on it who was chosen by the Sussexes and the copy that we got sent every day felt like a press release rather than an actual you know, factual um, analysis of what was going on. Uh, that said, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my family, what have I said? Bitterness. My family, the fact is, the reports that they received, which they are complaining about my family, was straight to the point. No drama. There was no drama. You know? And Chris Ship has a problem with the fact that Bianca simply reported the news. No drama, no nonsense. She simply reported Harry Meghan's events they attended. No drama, no nothing. And Chris Ship has a problem with that. Has a problem with Bianca, the reporter at Harper's Bazaar, who was given the right to cover Harry Meghan's visit to Colombia. Chris Ship has a problem, has an issue with her, my family, because she did not, my family, you know, create drama, like what UK Media do. And my family, as you've heard from Chris Ship, he says that somehow, you know, all the images, all the videos they received was somehow sanitized by Harry and Meghan. <laughs> and that they weren't allowed to be there as a to be you know as an independent media outlet covering Harry Meghan's visit to Colombia. Remember, 
UK media labeled Colombia as being a dangerous country. Why are they hell bent on going to a country that is dangerous? Why? It does not make any sense. Why are UK media hell bent in going to a country that they believe is extremely dangerous? Why? Why are they practically thinking that they can make demands to a Megan? And my family, let me expose the hypocrisy of Christship. But before that, kindly please uh, continue hearing this, please. Both the Vice President and the Sussexes, it was, it was great PR. Um, uh, you know, here is Colombia, which many people might say, well, you go on the Foreign Office website or the, uh, or, or the American government, the State Department website, and they say, well, there's many parts of Colombia you shouldn't travel to because it is so dangerous. And then that leads you into another thought. Well, Harry said in that ITV interview just a, a month or two ago, he doesn't bring Meghan to the UK because it's not safe for her to come here, and yet takes her to a country where both the UK and American government say tourists shouldn't travel to large parts of it. So... I mean, there were a lot of questions there that were that, that are still unanswered. Um, but for, for for them and for the vice president, I think it was great PR. When you say uh, you talk about my family, that's what uh, Chris Ship says. Chris Ship, why are you hell bent in going to a country that you call is, you know, dangerous? That you refer to be a dangerous country. Don't forget, Australia, the US, and other countries issued travel advisories warning their citizens not to travel to the UK. When my family, we also, how minorities were being attacked by far-right extremists, countries began warning their people, issuing travel advisories, warning their people not to go to the UK. However, Kreship wants to call other countries dangerous. That's what Chris Ship wants to do. He wants to call other countries dangerous. All because he and the other carnival of so-called spots who had applied to cover Harry Meghan's visit to Colombia were all denied access to Harry Meghan. What do you expect, Chris Ship? What do you expect? Do you think you can just bully and abuse Harry Meghan and then all of a sudden still... They'll invite you into their lives. My family, even right now, UK media, on this uh, story that Harry wants to come back to the UK and rejoin the raw fold. My family, think about this. Can you picture a moment whereby you can see Prince Harry in the raw fold, following William around, and then having to have, you know, people who've abused him and Megan around him. For example, liars like Rebecca English. Liars like Camilla Tomini is a liar. Imagine Harry's back in the raw fold and then he has to, you know, uh, how can I put this? And then he has to uh, do so-called engagements, conduct uh, engagements. And then my family, people like Camilla Tomini is a liar are there to cover the events he's doing. How do you think Harry will feel? Do you think Prince Harry will be okay with that? Can you picture Prince Harry, you know, going to Buckingham Palace and then seeing Piers Morgan there interviewing Camilla or Camilla throwing a party while she's hosting Angela Levin, a liar, who Harry said depended on her to pay, depended on him, sorry, to pay uh, her rent. Or my family, maybe Harry sees Piers Morgan my friend, someone who has bullied him and Megan for years now. Can you picture Prince Harry even doing that? Can you picture Harry being able to fathom being around those bullies? Because if you're in the raw fold, they'd have a right to cover events that uh, you attend. They'll have a right to be at every at every ribbon cutting, you know, my family engagement you do. Like what, for example, this so-called lie, this story full of lies, written by Daily Fails, you know, Ian and Charlotte Griffiths. My family, this entire story full of lies, it's saying basically that Prince Harry should come back and uh, 
be okay with just cutting ribbons for the time being. My family, that's what all members of the royal family do. But the thing is, William and Kim Houghton are too lazy to even do that. And UK media are getting desperate. They are getting desperate. The ones who my family are popular, the ones who are selling papers, don't want UK media anywhere around them. Harry is fooling the British media every time. My family, every single time. They believed Harry won't be coming to attend the funeral of his late uncle. He came over. He came over and he fooled the UK media completely. He fooled them. He fooled them so much so that today, apparently, you know, on the front page of Daily Mail, they're claiming that friends of Prince Harry somehow are saying that Prince Harry wants to come back. He is desperate to come back into the royal fold, even though his Harry's actions tell you a very, very different story. Number one, yes, he did come out to the UK to attend the funeral of his late uncle, but my family, Harry was able to do so in secret. Meaning, clearly, he did not want Daily Mail, any other tablet to know he's there. Number one, for his safety. Number two, because, because my family, clearly, he did not want to be in the UK longer than he had to be. Because my family also, he did not feel safe there. In other countries like Colombia, Nigeria, Harry and Meghan, as you all have seen, have been given top notch security in which UK media have been complaining about that as well they're complaining that Harry and Meghan have been protected in Colombia in Nigeria they've been complaining about that you know my family because uh, they want those parks to be strictly preserved for those who are so called uh, what they call working members of the royal family Someone who serves child. Someone who, you know, if he's in the royal family, they'll have no choice but to accept. Even those who bullied him will have to be flying with Prince Harry to do these visits. My family. And uh, my family. The thing is, Harry does not work for Charles. He doesn't serve Charles or William. He's a free man. He is free to do what he wants to do. Him and Meghan are free. And UK media continue to struggle with the knowledge that Harry and Meghan are not just free, but they're thriving as well. When they heard Meghan speaking about that she is in a chapter of joy, my family, UK media complained about it. Complained about it because they want her and Harry to be miserable. So miserable that they're begging to be accepted back in the raw fold. So miserable that they're itching to come back to the raw fold. But my family, Harry and Meghan, are not miserable. And they are certainly, they don't want to come back to the arms of the abusers. That's clear. Harry may want in the future to visit with Meghan, Archie, Lily Bedana. But clearly, he does not want UK media anywhere around him and Meghan. However, if Harry is in the raw fold, he may not have a choice in the matter. Which is the position UK media want Harry to be in. Because Prince Harry clearly won't accept to have UK media following him around or recovering engagement that he does willingly. So they want to find a way to force it upon Prince Harry. And uh, my family, Chris Ship complains about, um, you know, Harry and Meghan's, you know, physically being controlled. That the images, videos released were, he says, in his own family, in Christian's own words, he says, sanitize my family. He says, sanitize. They were sanitized my family. And, and my family, let me kindly just respond to that. Let me respond to that. Apparently, Christian has no problem with the senior members of the royal family controlling how they're covered. Because let me remind you what happened even uh, back in 2023, whereby it was revealed my family, that the royal family had the power to censor BBC coronation coverage. That is what was revealed by the Guardian. 
let me continue reading you this because Christian has no issue when it's senior members of the royal family, when it's Buckingham Palace or Prince William's Crystal Palace, since that in coverage, Chris Ship has no issue with that. He does have an issue, however, of Harry Meghan controlling my family, you know, images that are being released, controlling uh, videos that are being released. My family, what has come to my attention is that when UK media are taking pictures of Megan, for example, they usually manipulate the pictures. My family, for example, they have uh, been aging Megan's uh, neck, for example, as an example of what they do. That's what they've done. But then they're like, oh, if uh, Harry and Megan, those images were given from Colombia, it appears that they were sanitized. My family, when UK media are covering or taking pictures of Megan, they, my family, you know, age her neck. I have seen what they've done. But Chris Ship says, apparently, he still thinks he has a right to be given full access, full unfettered access by Harry and Meghan to the events that they do. If he doesn't get that, then he says somehow that uh, Harry and Meghan restricted independent media coverage. Nonsense. Let me read you what was uh, said by The Guardian, my family. Now, the BBC allowed Buckingham Palace to veto what footage it can use in its coronation coverage, raising questions about the national broadcaster's impartiality in relation to the monarchy. Did Christian complain when this happened? Because my family, every image, every video taken during Charles' coronation, the royal family had to approve of what could be used and what could not be used. But Chris Ship has a problem with Harry Meghan doing the same thing. On a visit that Harry Meghan, who are not tax funded, have been invited to, to Colombia to go over there by Vice President Francia Marquez, which they did. Remember, Harry Meghan are not tax funded. They don't earn a penny of tax money. William does. Kate does. Charles does. Camilla does. They earn taxpayer money. But instead of UK media making demands to Charles and William to give them unfettered access to them, my family, they're making demands to Harry Meghan. Because they've been told by senior members, the royal family, that you can do and say as you please, you know, anything you want about Harry Meghan. But you know what? Just leave William and Kate alone. Leave William and Kate alone. But you can say and do whatever it is you want with Harry and Meghan. My family. And they view Harry and Meghan as fair game. Who should perform for them. Who should entertain them. That is not Harry and Meghan's job. That is not Harry and Meghan's responsibility to entertain the toxic, racist, unethical, bigoted British media. You know? And Chris Ship is someone who is so, so full of hypocrisy, hypocrisy. I am happy Harry and Meghan have the power to decide, my family, how they are, you know, how can I put this? Who gets access to them, my family? I'm happy. I'm happy that Harry and Meghan were able to decide what footage even could be used because this was a private visit done by Harry and Meghan. They were invited there by the country's Vice President, to go to Colombia, my family. They weren't there to work for Charles or William or Kato Camilla. They weren't there to, to, to represent Charles or William or Kato Camilla, my family. Harry and Meghan were there at the invitation of Vice President Francia Marquez. So my family, Luke Media, have no right to even make demands to Harry and Meghan. Or even the reporter, Bianca, put unquote, who was given the right to cover Harry and Meghan. They don't have any right to make demands to Bianca or to Harry and Meghan. UK media should accept the crumbs they were given and be content with what they were given. My family. And you know what? Even what they were given, they did not deserve. But as always, my family, UK media, 
you know, feel like uh, they're somehow entitled that they have rights over Harry and Meghan, that they have rights over Harry and Meghan. And honestly, that makes me sick. That honestly makes me sick. You know? And my family, can you please, uh, I want you to continue hearing uh, this, uh, please. The tantrums of my family, Chris uh, Ship. Being denied access to Harry and Meghan is something that hurts it affects uh, UK media so much, my family. You know? Into corners that don't have lights on them is to, is to open the doors and, 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 and allow cameras in. It's good to hear that in, in Nigeria that the, the, the local media were given that level of access. But certainly from from our point of view, we felt the doors were being closed rather than open. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've heard that he's taking his work. <laughs> Chris Sheep. <laughs> I'm glad that in Nigeria, local media were allowed access to Harry Meghan. But from our point of view, as the UK media, you know, we felt like doors were being closed for us. <laughs> My family, the level of entitlement that they feel they have over Harry Meghan. You know, I remember what Harry said in Spare about how UK media called them bad partners after Meghan had gave birth to Archie. You know, you can you're angry about not being informed that even Megan was had gone into labor. They, you know, by the time that they were informed that Megan had gone into labor, Megan already, you know, had given birth to Archie, and you know, Harry and Megan were back uh, home with their son Archie. And you can when they found out what had happened, they accused Harry and Megan of pulling a fast one on them. And indeed, that's what Harry and Megan did. But then Harry said, like do UK media still think of us as partners after they have brutally abused his son Archie? Do they still think of Harry and Meghan as partners? My family, what Harry said there and UK media's their actions, despite bully Meghan throughout her pregnancy, still, they somehow thought they were owed something. Even right now, despite the constant bullying of Harry and Meghan, they still think they're owed something. That they should be given unfettered access to Harry Megan. That somehow, all of a sudden, my family, UK media, that uh, clearly are uh, controlled by the royal family. Whereby William Charles have the power to censor coverage, you know, whichever that they want, whatever that they want. UK media, who are okay with that happening, you know, when it's William and Charles are giving the order, are somehow complaining when it's Harry Meghan wants to control, you know, their images, their pictures taken of them, their videos released of them. You can maybe have an issue and a problem with that. My family, I'm sorry, but this hypocrisy is just too much. This blatant level of hypocrisy is just really uh, too much. And honestly, it makes me sick. It makes me extremely so sick. So, so sick. Even to see Chris Ship complaining. Oh, you know what? You know, we felt like doors are being closed for us. UK media. What do you expect? You expect to bully Harry and Meghan and then still be given full access to them? You expect to, to bully Harry and Meghan, insult Harry's wife, and then somehow expect to be given, you know, full access to Harry and Meghan, to be, to be given special privileges you know, by Harry Megan. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way with Harry Megan. And that is why, even this story that Harry has come to the UK is a lie. It's a lie. Because Harry's actions tell you otherwise. It tells you a very, very different story. My family, right after attending King Charles' coronation, what did Harry do? Harry went straight home to Archie to wish his son happy birthday. To spend the rest of the day with his son Archie. My family, Harry spends only a couple of days, more like hours in the UK. Even UK media who abuse him complain about it because my family want more days whereby they can uh, somehow treat Harry appallingly, you know, and affect his mental health. 
And because Harry does not give them the pleasure, they complain about it. Oh, Prince Harry only stays here for a few hours. Prince Harry's 26-hour stay in the UK. My family, they're complaining about it. They're like complaining that uh, Prince Harry refuses to stay longer. That way, the UK media can continue to disrespect him even more. Harry, keep on protecting your peace. Harry, keep on protecting your mental health. Protect it. Protect your peace and protect your mental health. Don't let anybody ruin or destroy your peace, Harry and Meghan. Don't let anybody destroy your peace, Harry and Meghan. Protect your peace. And my family, you know, as I uh, continue my family, you've heard Chris Ship, you know, his tantrums. And my family, once again, what we are seeing here is that UK media are ready to paint Harry as the one who is desperate. Desperate to come back into Rawfold. Not my family. The ones who are desperate are UK media. The other royals don't sell papers. Royal stories have dried up. Completely dried up. My family. The only stories you see are stories about Harry Meghan. People who UK media have zero access to. Because the UK media have been told they, they can lie, say whatever it is they want about Harry Meghan. Because Harry Meghan are fair game. But the others are untouchable. Because UK media have made them untouchable. And now even they have no idea what to do. Now even UK media have no idea what to do. Because they know they made William untouchable. Now even they don't know what to do. And they're desperate for Prince Harry to come back to serve as entertainment for them. To perform for them. To cut ribbons for them. Because clearly William, without Harry being there, my family, you know, you can media know that my family, without Harry there to, to, you know, basically, you know, do the hard work, William will continue to be exposed for the lazy person that he always is. And he always has been. My family. Without Harry there. The William can continue being lazy. Doing nothing. Which is what William has continued continue to do my family. When earning millions. In taxpayer money. For doing nothing. My family that's how Prince William is. You know. And look at me. They want, him, want Harry there. To somehow uh, you know. Make William do stuff. You know, remember, for example, when Harry came to the UK for the World Child Awards, William suspended his vacation. I remember when People Magazine's uh, headline around uh, that time, whereby my family, People Magazine, came up even with, uh, with my family a headline for that when uh, Harry came over to the UK for the World Child, you know, awards. William suspended his vacation to go and do uh, charity work, my family, for his so-called homelessness project. And let me read you this headline from back in 2023, last year, September, my family. Let me read you this headline. And I quote, Prince William steps out to champion homelessness project as Prince Harry returns to the UK. <laughs> a headline from People Magazine. A headline from People Magazine. And that headline tells you that clearly William can only do something when Harry's there. When Harry's there is the only time you can see William doing something. When he leaves, back to vacation. My family, Harry is not someone whose purpose in life is to, to be there, to be William's scapegoat, to be undermined, so William can, you know, step up. That is not Harry's job. That is not Harry's responsibility, my family. Harry is a father now. He is a husband. And it's high time that Tukey Media respect his family. It's high time that the farm, William, Charles, respect Harry's marriage, respect Harry's wife, respect Harry's kids. It is high time. They must stop showing enormous disrespect to Prince Harry's family. You know, William can only do something when Harry is there. You know, then he'll 
he'll try, he'll try and, compl- and, and compete with Prince Harry. But he can never ever step up to the man Harry is. He can never ever step, step up and he knows that. He knows that. He knows that. And look at me, they want that competition back. They want that competition back. William versus Harry. Harry versus William. And that's also one other reason as to why they're trying to drag Harry back to the UK. And my family, and all because they want him to be more like entertainment. No, my family. No, no. UK media always want drama. That's all they care about, drama. You know, I like, for example, that uh, on Harry Meghan's website. My family, Prince Harry's and Meghan's Sussex.com website is amazing. Because my family, it is straight to the point news. No drama, no nothing. It's what Bianca did. No drama, no nothing. But Chris Ship wants more. Wants drama. Wants something that is dramatic. That he can use. Remember, UK media, don't report the news, they create the news. And that is what they, they were looking for. And by Prince Harry, picking one person to be with them. My family, he was able to protect my family. His and Megan's, you know, visit for it to be my family a complete success and also to be, you know, with no drama. By picking one pool reporter, Bianca, that was a masterclass move by Harry Megan, which you media you know, are upset about even to this day. Even right now, they're still upset about it, my family. Still very, very upset about it. And I'll tell them this. I'll tell Chris Schiff this. Chris Schiff, for as long as you bully and abuse Harry Megan, you are never going to have or be given any kind of access to Harry Megan. No matter how many times you plead and beg or even make demands, you are never going to have any kind of access to Harry and Megan. Never. And it's high time you start being content with that. And Harry also is not returning to the arms of his abusers. Harry also is not abandoning his wife and kids like how Yuki Media want him to. My family, you tell me kindly, you are just about what we have just discussed, my family. May God bless Harry, Meganachi, and also Lily Bedana and Doria. Bugland and all of you members of the squad at home. He never wins. Love wins and stay tuned on this video. Love you also. May God bless you, my family. And once again, may no open phone against Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Bet, Diana, Ever Prosper. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned for our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.